Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome to The Matrix Awakens. Well, the Game Awards was certainly a thing that happened, wasn't it? Stayed up to four o'clock in the morning watching that mess, but anyway, let's see what this experience is all about. The Matrix. Wake up, Neo. The Matrix has you. Hi, I'm Thomas Anderson. Like many of you, I work with computers. I like the freedom I feel outside the limitations of the real world. But computers are also mirrors, reflecting back who and what we are and the choices we make, the worlds we build. They also confront us with questions about why we want to choose this or that. Why we want to make X instead of Y? Where do ideas of who we are and what we want even come from? You take the red pill, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. This isn't real. What is real? How do you define real? For instance, I'm not even sure why I'm here. I remember waking up and thinking that I'm supposed to come here. That it was important for me to ask people, how do we know what is real? Hi, I'm Keanu Reeves. Over 20 years ago, I first played the character Thomas Anderson in the Matrix trilogy. Those films pioneered digital cinema with shots like bullet time. Back then, we talked a lot about where the digital age might take cinema and narrative. In an industry where actors have tried to remain perpetually young, we wondered about digital faces that could become immortal. Hi, I'm Trinity Moss, and I played Trinity in the Matrix films. Twenty years ago, we asked ourselves how long it would be before faces and bodies could be changed as easily as we change clothes. We wondered what would identity mean in a completely digital world? And what would reality mean? When a world we can build feels as real as our own. Nice. Oh, what just happened? Yeah, this is what they wanted. They said they were fine with your theoretical mumbo jumbo, but they needed some sexy action. Damn right. Marketing people. Marketing? I thought we were supposed to have total creative control. <laughs> Welcome to the Matrix. Wow. You still got it. Like riding a bike, they say. I sometimes miss this version of us. Me too. <clears throat> the hell are you doing back there? Sorry, I was told this is a sim preparing me to fight the system. Right on. You know about this? Yeah. It's all supposed to be a little unreal. Oh, God. Word of advice. Agents are bad. But whatever you do, stay the hell away from marketing. See you soon. Oh, 
Neo, uh, now would be a good time for you to do your Superman thing. Impressive. Very impressive. Tungle Mass AI visualization. Oh, nice. Toggle day and night. I cannot wait to see how game devs are going to utilize UE5. Look at this! This is stupid! I think I'm nerding out a bit more because I did a games design course a couple years ago. I never finished it unfortunately due to like, personal issues back home. But seeing what they've been able to do with this is so, it's mind blowing for me. Display rendered pixels. Nice. Okay. Uh, nanite visualization. Shit. Look at the density they managed to get in there. This is. This is crazy. Am I gonna get to am I gonna get to wander around New York now? Or the Matrix version of New York. I am I can fly, sprint, and dismiss controls. Okay. The fuck? Can I fight people? I would like to punch someone, please. So this is how games are going to be. What the fuck?
Can I go on top of a building? Let's see if I can get up here. No, okay. Holy shit. How far has this world been been rendered? Right, where's the where's the world limit? Yeah, this video is pretty much going to be a, a, a walking simulation, but this is basically a tech demo of UE5, so. I wonder. Are there people in the buildings? Doesn't look like it. Is this New York? I don't know. I don't know American cities that well. So I'm trying to see if I can identify any buildings that I recognise. Okay, that's either that could be the Empire State or the Chrysler Building. No, it's not the Chrysler Building because that's got like a huge antenna on top. Jesus. Yeah, you know what? I now want a Spider-Man game in the UE5 engine. Look at the state of this. This is stupid. Very impressive. <laughs> And there's a lot going on as well, lots of traffic. Can I still see people move walking around? I I can still see people walking around. Hey lady, can you move a little faster, please? <laughs> Sorry. Here we go. So what we've we got? Menu, go to main menu, Mega City Explore, running, off. Photo mode. I can change the sun rotation. Crowd, that's at 100%. Cars, at 100%. Oh, that, that greets the matrix filter. Okay. Trolls. Wait, I can enter vehicles? And there's a map. And I've got an Aston Martin, my dream car. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can't run people over, but I can hit cars. Is the car getting damaged? It is. Oh, um, I'm 
suck. Alright, let's find another car. Alright, controls. What else can I do? Steer, lock, high controls, walk, ascend, descend. Driving, first home mode. Alright, so I can't engage in any combat, but I can do and explore. Really not gonna let me steal cars. Alright. Alright, now I can steal a car. Sorry. Okay, so cars are uh, very easily damaged. Uh, can't, st can't steal cars if people are driving them. Fair enough. I'll take you. Here we go, this is what I wanted to do, I wanted to get up here. Whoa, okay, there we go. Duke, can you get out from under me, please? <laughs> Why are you all driving on the wrong side of the road, bloody yanks? Okay. Car density on the roads is uh, quite heavy. Can you tell I've never driven in America? I didn't realise this it was going to be this interactive, to be honest. Don't scratch my car. <laughs> All right, I think this is pretty much the uh, maximum of this. What do you think of the UE5 engine? I'm very impressed. And I'm really looking forward to seeing... Oh, my car's dead. Hi, officer man. All right. Oh, back here. Head back to the main menu. Very impressed. Very impressive. Visually, it looks great. Oh, now I can just jump in to explore the city whenever I like. Yeah, a bit of a glorified tech demo, but it's a statement in itself about where the future of gaming is going and what it's going to look like. And I cannot wait. You know what I want to see in in the net in UE5? The next Mass Effect, which I here is possibly the case. So, thanks for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma later. This has been The Matrix Awakens, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.